Well, we've got a unique country. These eels are nowhere else in the world. Their journey is from the mountains to the sea. The Waitaki Valley is the home of New Zealand's largest hydroelectricity system. Now, along this system, there are a series of dams which create a real barrier as longfin eel, or tuna, make their migratory path all the way from here in Aotearoa up to Tonga to breed. It was only natural that Meridian got in behind Naitahu and in particular the runanga of Arofenua, Moiraki and Waiho as we seek to recreate this natural process and help this Tama species get back into its breeding cycle. When they really migrate, the eyes, um, they turn a, a deep blue and uh, they develop a crown on the top of their head and that's a good sign for they're ready to migrate. So we've just got this wing here that uh, the tuna can run up either side and he'll hit the uh, wing and he'll run down into the mouth of the henaki and once he's in he won't come out. When we set the nets, usually we leave them for three nights in a row. But what we do is go back and check every day and uh, monitor the cats that we've got in each net. Uh, one migratory eel, she will carry between 600,000 to a million eggs. So for us it's very important that we get her downstream so she can get off to sea and breed. Trap and transfer program is, is that important to me and, and the three Papatipa Arunanga because th this was part of the trails when we come up here uh, over to the west coast where we used to walk over here and gather food. When you're surrounded by all those ancestors up there, but spiritually there is a lot of power and they'll still be here long after we're gone so we need to look after this. <laughs>